Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to the end of the fucking world. I have anxiety about what is going to happen in this episode. Now, I, I do know that we have quite a few episodes left, so I feel like I've, and I could be wrong, but I feel like Bonnie's not going to just like get into the car and then just shoot them right then and there. But like my anxiety is pretty high at this moment. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm preparing myself. Let's get into it. How long were you waiting? Not long. Oh, God. So you're either in danger or you're mental. Alyssa. What? Or maybe she just didn't want to be alone with me. I'm Alyssa. This is James. Hi. I'm Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. What was that? What's wrong with your car, James? That's literally the bane of our life. It was nice. She said our life. That is the spare. Of course. I'm going for a piss. No. I thought it was here, maybe. No. Maybe it's in the back. Sweet. Ah. What? There's a house or something up the road. I saw smoke. How close? Really close. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. Oh boy. How can I help you? Let me use your phone. And please, could I use your toilet? Yes. They can't do anything until the morning. Shit. Of Sorry. Course. Do you have any rooms? What? Yes, we've got all of them. We'll take two. No, we can't afford that. I'll pay. You and James want to be in the same room, don't you? Yeah, it's fine. It's better that way. It's cheaper. I'm ten. Wow. Seven. I really don't know how I feel about that. My heart is racing. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> this was the last room they had. Okay. We should check on Bonnie. She's not right. Just because someone's quiet doesn't mean they're not right. Are you talking about yourself? Oh boy. She paid for the room. Bonnie. I feel for you as well, girl, but Bonnie, this is not, this is not it. Oh. Good place to stash it. Would you like to have a drink with us? Fun. This is my wedding night. <laughs> Why are you sitting in your wedding dress? Because I ran away from the wedding. Why? Because I did. Did he cry? Do you want to mind your own business? But then my boyfriend died. Oh, fuck. How did he die? Are you feeling like a bit of a spare part? What? Well, three's a crowd, four's a riot. How'd you know I didn't marry her? What? Maybe I was the vicar. Just stop bothering her. She's not desperate. Wow. Thank you. Probably get stabbed in our beds now. I probably deserve it. I thought you were more likely to end up dead than married. Wow, that's I lovely. I feel exactly the same. Shit. Oh no. Oh, I thought she was gonna like throw it, it or something. I'm tired. Oh, but she's got oh ah, so awkward. 
It feels so tense. Shall we get another one? Actually, I should check if she's okay. Say well. I just don't know at this point. Like, it's just all so uncomfortable. Oh my god, Alyssa. Are you okay? This is exactly how I pictured my honeymoon kicking off. Oh fuck. Bonnie, I don't know, Bonnie. I'm waiting. For what? For them to fall asleep. Fair play. Dude. I'm alright, really. Promise. Dude. What the fuck? You're running a business. I'll take you back. Tell What happened to you? After the beach? It was quite bad. Yeah, obviously. Couldn't walk for a bit. He was really supportive. Until he died. I... I can't. I get lonely. My wife ran off. You all fine? Yeah. Night. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm really sorry. I tried to see you, I did, but no one would let me. And and then, then I was going to tell Alyssa about the time her mum came to see me. You should. And she said something that made me forget everything else. I think I want to kiss you. What? Oh. I don't think I can have sex. I didn't say sex, I said a kiss. Oh. I don't think it works anymore. Sorry. Oh, James, James. Oh. We come in through the morning. Until a long time ago. Don't go. This guy comes into this fucking room, I'm gonna be pissed. We do a turn down service. What? Can I come in? First of all, you're already in. Um, oh my god. It's better, isn't it? Yeah. What a psycho. Get off the bed. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Can you leave, please? You can just watch. You can turn around if you want. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I've got kids. Please put the gun down. Please put the gun down. Don't. I wouldn't put it down. I would get out. What the fuck? Oh no 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 no! Okay. What's wrong? What? Can you just give me a minute? Do you mind sleeping in there? Yeah. That's fine. James, I. What in the world is this episode? I am like stunned. It's gonna be okay, Lisa. Is it? My little girl. Oh! Is my middle name. Maybe J 
James is right. And it is gonna be okay. Or maybe, as usual, everything's completely fucked. I honestly think it's probably fucked. Oh my god! I mean, honestly, the luck of this show and running into, like, creeps is, is quite... My goodness. Um, okay. Uh, I, I'm i just shocked and stunned, and um, I guess it, it makes sense that maybe that, the, that um, the show might focus on what just happened with Bonnie. Um, that might give her a little bit of a, a, a distraction from her goal of, of murdering um, Alyssa and James. So uh, I guess, you know, because I, I was like, I feel like she's not going to just kill them in this episode and then that's it. Um, and I don't know if she'll kill them or what's going to happen in the next four episodes, but you know, that's just kind of how I feel about that. Um, figured mid season, that would be kind of, strange um it's just really crazy how much this show has really kind of at least made me feel such strong you know sympathy and 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 all of that for these two characters that are just in my opinion, they're, they're, they're both just so broken at this point. Um, I, I would also say Bonnie is as well, but I, I, I would, I think James and Alyssa, these characters that we followed throughout the whole first season, I think that, you know, I feel completely awful and my heart breaks into a million pieces for both of them. You know, um, I feel like Alyssa doesn't really know what she's doing right now. She's kind of on a autopilot a little bit, you know. Uh, she left her wedding, um, and you know she's in this. I think she's kind of. A lot of the time, she's not feeling anything. She's very numb, and then I think she has these moments of feeling a lot, you know. I think kissing James and that whole thing with like just overwhelmed her and I feel like you know she has this moment of like I want to kiss you but maybe to feel something and then it all gets to be too much feeling all of that is too much I think James is the person that she loves she cares for she wants to be with but she just feels so broken. Thinking that you found this, this person that will always be by your side and to have them in her mind send a letter saying, you know, you're, you're, I blame you. And I mean, I can't imagine what that feels like. So, you know, I just, I feel awful for her, whereas, with James, it's like, God, I mean, he's just breaking my heart because he just wants to take care of her. And, you know, obviously he wants to be with her as well, but he, he really wants to to get back into her life and, and, you know, just be there for her. Um... You know, I think when he did agree to write the letter, and I don't think he was in, you know, the, the most sound mind, or he was going through a lot at that moment too, but, you know, I don't think he, he was really thinking too much about the, the consequences of that, and I think maybe in, on some level he thought he was doing the right thing. Um, the mom saying that you're ruining her life, and, you know... Um, 
just thinking that oh she's probably better off without me or um and and it, it was kind of this this act of i guess you could say like sort of just feeling a bit like he was doing the right thing by her little did he know it probably destroyed her even further damaged her even further i guess uh, than she already was, um, and I'm not. I'm not really. You know, I'm not blaming him. I, I, it's just such a fucked up situation. Um, God, just breaks my heart. I hope he tells her soon about the motives of it, or like that he. I don't know. I just. I don't think it's going to make everything better. I don't think he's just going to come out and say that and then she's going to be like, oh, okay, never mind then. Like, I, all's forgive it. Or, you know, like, I don't really think that that is, you know, but I would, I would like her to get the full picture on what exactly happened with that letter. Um, and Bonnie... Uh, oh my god you know i i i have a bit of sympathy for her as well you know i'm i'm a little concerned that if she did take action of killing james and Alyssa, say she went over to that room shot them both dead and then she finds out more truths about what actually happened you know she keeps having these visions in her head that they're like smiling and laughing and killing this guy which is obviously not really the case. And, you know, I just feel like, uh, I don't know. I, I, I have, I have some sympathy for her too. You know, I clearly, you know, if I'm, if I want, like, if I'm rooting for anybody, it's like I'm on the James and Alyssa side in the sense of, like, I don't want her to kill them, obviously. I love those characters so much. But I think that there is, you know, like, she's just so consumed with this rage. And when you think about her life, it's just so tragic that, you know, she didn't really feel any sort of love. And the only person that she wanted to feel love from is now gone. And then we have this situation, this fucking situation. Who the fuck is this guy? As soon as he offered to like sit down with them, I, you know, I understand like he, he was talking about like at that point, like he was talking about that he was lonely or whatever. And he obviously his business is out in the middle of nowhere, but that's just insanely unprofessional to just be like, yeah, let me just hang out with you guys. No. And then like, as the night went on, it just got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And I just, oh my God, that was just horrible. Like, ah, God. I, you know, I started these post episode thoughts with, um, you know, they have really bad luck running into creeps where, you know, like this guy and, guy they killed and the guy that in the bathroom and um you know stuff like that but in all on it like in all honesty I mean from my perspective things that I've gone through in my life and whatever I'm not even that surprised it's not unrealistic to me. I do think it's shitty luck, but. And that's all I'll say on that. Uh, but I, I, yeah, I feel for her. She's got, I don't even know what she's gonna do. She's gonna, are James and Alyssa gonna find out and help her hide the body? Like, I don't even know. We have four more episodes left, and I know that they're shorter episodes, but still, I mean, I feel like there's a lot to, to, to cover. Um, but yeah. I mean, I will say good episode. I just, I, I, I have this feeling of just feeling kind of stunned by all of that. Oh my god. So crazy. And is this going to give her any sort of perspective 
Oh, that's, that's an interesting thought. Sorry, it's just things are going through the head of, of if she does find out Alyssa's story and what her beloved man did to Alyssa, like, is this going to give some perspective? Is this going to, I don't know. I mean, she didn't deliberately shoot the guy. She was putting the gun down. But like, I'm afraid, I didn't give the way that he was approaching her. Okay, but I just, mm, mm, mm. the way that he was approaching her at the end, like, put the gun down, put the gun down. Like, legit, when she points the gun at you and says, get the fuck out, I feel like if you are like, oh no, I, this is such a mistake. And like, you're having those emotions of like, this is, this is, this is, I shouldn't have done this. Ah, your gut instinct is to get the fuck out. If that's what she said, she's saying, get the fuck out and pointing a gun at you. But instead he's kind of like coming closer to her and approaching her and saying, put the gun down, put the gun down, put the gun down. I don't, if she puts the gun down, I don't know what would have happened. Let me just say that. Maybe that's just me, but I just, I, the whole situation, I just didn't. He was not taking no for an answer. And he may not have been as, like, blatantly aggressive. But it's like she she was like, can you please leave? And then he, like, undid his pants. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? Anyway. Wow, that was a lot. I feel like I always go through such a such an emotional experience whenever I watch these episodes. It's really great. Love it. Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> I think that's about it. Uh, sorry I ranted a bit, or I feel like I rambled on a little bit, but anyway. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!